Welcome back to Wave of Docker. Got another week of music for you today. Week of music. 30. Uh, five albums this week. Most of them suggested by Mr. Griffin. So thank you, Griffin. I thank you enough in this video, but I'm going to thank you again. This is pretty much the Griffin episode. I think three or four out of the five were Griffin suggestions. So that's just a testament to his friendship and his love of music. So thank you, Griffin, for your de dedication and contribution to this show. And uh, yeah, let's just get into the albums. Here are the guys. Album number one of the week, Big Ideas by Remy Wolf. Came out like two weeks ago. I think the same day as the Claire album, maybe a week before. Uh, first time checking out anything from Remy Wolf. Remy Wolf. Uh, yeah, she was really neat. Um, I was really not expecting her to sound like that. I don't know. This is my first time listening to her, like I said. And I'm, really, I'm not really sure how this album, you know, fits in the context of all that came before it. Um, like, you know, like I me, mean, like the Clara album, like I, I, I'm so familiar with her work, like I understand how she got to this point, but I'm not really sure how this is, how this was received by the Raymond Wolf fandom, but I was really impressed. And yeah, I wasn't expecting her voice to sound like that. It was just, I don't know, it just, it, it ruled. It really ruled. And it, it was funky, a lot of instrumentals, like a really cool, like a lot of cool instrumentals, like horns. There's like a cowbell in one of the later tracks, I feel like. It was just a really good mix of a bunch of different uh, instruments and stuff. I really, I, I thought that was dope. Um, yeah, I mean, it was just fun and funky. I think I kind of lost the plot a little bit towards the end. Like, I thought the first five or six tracks were really fun and funky, but then, like, there's, I don't know, like, Slay Bitch. I mean, that's, that's just not for me as a dude. You know, I'm not, I'm not slaying a bitch. I'm, a, I'm, I'm just, you know, posting up and chilling. That was the worst thing I've ever said. Um, yeah, like, the, la the latter half of the album, I think, is much weaker than the first half. I don't know if that's crazy to say but yeah i enjoyed this album i thought it was fun i'm gonna go 83 hot dogs out of 100 for big ideas by Remy wolf on to the next one album number two of the week have you my wilderness by julia holter came out in 2015 happened upon miss julia holter because i was watching a rolling stone claro video where she shuffled her music library and a track from julia holter popped up and i was like you know what if claro likes her i like her too go claro um, but yeah, this album was like 45, 50 minutes long, I believe. Uh, first time checking anything out from Julia Holter, like I said. Um, and I thought she was fantastic. Uh, very reminiscent of that Bat, Bat for Lashes album I listened to earlier in the year, Dream, Dream of Delphi. Just kind of that haunting indie vibe where like the vocals were kind of like, it's just like airy and very ethereal and spacious. Also kind of like Caroline polachek with the way that her her voice sounds and the way that it's kind of modulated. Also broadcasty as well, like, you know, like that indie group. Um, I thought I thought it was just super dope. Very, I mean, like, I just compared it to a bunch of groups, but it's just very unique, I think, in the broad sense of indie music. Um, but yeah, I mean, I thought this album was dope. Like I, like I said, it's like that, that kind of haunting spaciness of the tracks. Like it's, it, I, I could honestly see it being like, like some of these tracks like fitting really well in like a horror sequence where it, I don't know, it's just the way that it creates that space and it kind of puts you in a place when you listen to it. I thought it was just super cool. Uh, I'm gonna go 87 hot dogs out of 104, put you in my wilderness, whatever it was called by Julia Holter. I forget, this album was fantastic. Check it out, on to the next one. Album number three of the week, Why Lord, Lord, Why, Why Lord, Why Lord, Why Lord. I'm gonna say it like that. I'm not gonna, you know, try to, Whatever. By Anderson Pack, No Worries, and Knowledge. Suggested to me by a friend of the show, Mr. Griffin. Thank you, Griffin. Um, really super nice. What am I talking about? Really great album cover as well. I really dug that. Have not listened to anything, any, any projects of Anderson Pack. Very familiar with his stuff. I have listened to a Knowledge album. Uh, it's the red one called like HUD HUD something. Really good. I like him. I like his mixes. I like his his style, nothing from No Worries as either. Um, but I thought this project was super strong. Anderson Pack just has so much funk just in anything he does. The drums on this were great, the guitar on this was great, the Thundercat track was great, Earl's Watch Your Feature was great. Um, yeah, just an all around, only 44 minutes, but it feels very, just, I don't know, very dense. And I really enjoyed that. Like it, it was tons of tracks. Like I think it was like 
something along, like around like 20 tracks honestly and it just feels I don't know like I feel like a lot is happening in this project that's just good and it's just I don't know like I, I like a dense but compact album does that make any sense just like a lot of tracks it doesn't feel too bloated like I feel like all these tracks just hit um but you know it's like under 45 minute runtime. like I, I just really dig something like that and Anderson Pack just has so much funk and just mixing him with like a guy like Knowledge and like I mean it seemingly No Worries is also fantastic it just works really well like he's just such a funky dude I'd love to check out more from him because I don't know he just he's just the man and I forget how early in his career he is because his first project was in 2015 and he was part of like that freshman class with was he in that freshman class with Uzi Vert and Denzel Curry or was he before that I don't know but he ha he just has so much more to give to this you know the musical sphere and I'm really looking forward to seeing what he can do next but um yeah I'm gonna go 85 hot dogs out of 104 why laud why laud by Anderson Pack. no worries and knowledge Phew, that was just a yapathon. But what else is it for me, this channel? Even that sucked. On to the next one. Album number four of the week Samurai by Lupe Fiasco. Suggested to me once again by, at this point, executive producer of the show, Mr. Griffin. Thank you very much. Um, came out this year. A tight 30 minutes. Uh, first, I've listened to a Lupe Fiasco. Obviously, I've listened to his feature on Touch the Sky by Kanye West, but outside of that, I'm not very familiar. Um, I've heard great things, and uh, after listening to this album, I think those things are very, very true. Um, his flow is just kind of, like, addicting. Like, I, 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 if I had to do a Boss Baby comparison, I'd probably just say, like, Denzel Curry-esque, where it's just, like, a very, very energetic production, and he's just jamming. Like, he's flowing, and he just has this sort of energy that just works really well with the production, and it just makes it a fun, tight record that you can enjoy. Is this... Ugh just gets you going and it was great to play earthbound too i needed uh you know i just watched pearl for the first time and, and it put me in uh you know heebie-jeebies mood so i needed a record you know really get the mood going get the mood up and this one really worked uh sam robert Lup lupe fiasco really really great i'm gonna go 88 hot dogs at 100 for samurai by lupe fiasco that's me being a samurai and the cover's super dope too i want to check out more a little bit fiasco after this because I thought this was really dope. On to the next one. Out number five of the week, Triple Digits 112 by Richie. Came out 2024. Nice tight half hour. So this is me once again by Mr. Griffin. This is Griffin Week. Um, I love you, Griffin. Thank you for the suggestions as always. Um, yeah, like I said, 30 Minutes came out this year. Um, I had listened to a song by Richie before. He has a track with Amine that's on this album but I can blanking on the name forgive me i'll put it up on the screen probably but griffin actually sent me that song a few months ago and i listened to it and i thought this is dope added it to the playlist this this album came out griffin's listened it to me i have my retainer in whatever um yeah this was a lot of fun if i had to do a boss baby comparison i think i'd say it's kind of similar to jpeg mafia like it has that really good production the good vocals but it also has that really nice mix of like more like standard like kind of like um, hip hop y kind of stuff, but then it kind of gets like to those intense bits that kind of is reminiscent of those JPEG Mafia records where he's like getting like really amped up on one of the tracks, and, like the production kicks up. But um, yeah, I thought this album was fun. Um, a nice interlude as well, like intros and interludes were good. I don't know, it was just a lot of fun. I, I can tell, I feel like I say, I, there, I, there's like eight phrases I say during the show. A lot of fun, good production, good vocals. Uh, I can tell he had fun making the record, but I mean, I think this is just fair for this album. I don't know. It was just a fun time to listen to it, and it was good. I'm going to go 84 Hot Dogs after 104, Triple Digits 112 by Richie. On to the guy. And now I'm back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, as always, leave comments in the comment section. Leave albums in the comment section. Leave something in the comment section, you know? Just, you know, let me know what I should listen to. Because I'll listen to it, I promise. But like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.